What's going on everyone? I am the OP Jellicent and I have week number three of season number four of the WPL. We are going up against the Fire King. His links will be in the description, so definitely check him out. Uh, he actually had to drop out last season after week four, I believe, but he was 4-0, so definitely a strong competitor right here. But I do feel that we have the team to uh, defeat his. We do have um, AV Torn to deal with, like, uh, the special Nido Queen, as well as if it's Nasty Plot, Kofagragus, we can knock that off and then start air slashing. As well as, um, we have AV Raikou to deal with the Thunderous. We did bring this in our UPC playoffs match, and it worked out uh, brilliantly against AV Thunderous. I mean, against uh, Thunderous, because um, AV Raikou absorbs the T-Waves, and it takes pretty much nothing from Thunderbolt, so... And uh, AV Raikou can also switch into the High Dragon if it feels like going for Dark Pulse, so... Uh, we do definitely have a very nice matchup here. Defensive Dawn Fan does deal with the Scizor, avoids the 2-hit KO from Sneasel's Icicle Crash, and he really has no response to Life Orb Terrakion. That puts a huge dent into his team. He can BP it to check, but uh, once again, I do have switch-ins to the Scizor, so I'm not too worried about that. It's definitely an uh, uphill battle because he, if he can weaken my Tornadus and then set up with the Confagrigus, he could just sweep me right there. But let's get right into the match. He leads off with the Sneasel as I lead off with the Tornadus. Uh, gets a big amount with Ice Shard, but um, I do end up critting him with the Sne um, turn one on the U-turn, which is really unfortunate. And we will uh, have our Tornadus at a good amount of health due to our Regenerator. Um, here he goes right out into the Kafagrigus, as I can just get up my rocks. Uh, he probably should have just sacked there, maybe gone for a low kick, but uh, he has managed to will wisp me as I do just uh, get rid of the Sneasel right there. We roll him out into that. Uh, here, Kafagrigus is going to come right back out. I believe I go for the Roar again because I do not want this thing setting up on me. If it sets up, I could be in a lot of trouble despite my AV mons. Uh, Flamethrower from High Dragon is going to be able to knock me out. I don't know whether he is Scarf yet, he did not show the Life Orb and he could be like E-Belt, but um, I go for the Stone Edge right here pretty much because he he's not staying out with High Dragon. If he's Scarf, he's going to be locked into Flamethrower. So I go right for the Stone Edge and we do a big amount to that thing. Here he brings out the um, uh, Thunderous, so I'm expecting a Focus Blast. The Thunderbolt would knock, knock me out from there, and Raku can take any Focus Blast that this thing wants to go for. He actually ends up going for Grass Knot, which uh, would have knocked me out too, but um, AV Raku just eats forever. Um, um, despite this being like the easiest switch in ever, especially Defensive Nido Queen, I go for the Thunderbolt because I do have a response to that. So here, uh, my Tornadus does have extra Sensory, so I can go right for that attack. It will weaken it into potentially range of my Raikou's Extra Sensory. And he doesn't have the best switch ins to an Air Slash from Tornadus right now. Um, if he goes out into Thunderous, I can just U-turn out and uh, be fine against that. Here, he, I confirm he is not Scarf, um, a High Dragon. He could be, he could have been like E-Belt. He was not Life Orb. And uh, here, what I do is I go right for the, um, he's gonna be able to knock me out with the uh, Hidden Power, but well, I do have a great response to this. I figured despite me uh, Terrakion being at good amounts of health there, it was not worth keeping around. Uh, Extra Sensory is going to be able to weaken the Nido Queen, with Queen which is really cool, and um, uh, we are going to be able to knock that out. And his last Pokemon is the Sizzle right here. And ideally, we win this match because we do have um, AV Raikou with Hidden Power Fire, we do have AV Torn with Heat Wave, and we have Hidden Power Fire on Kiram, but as you guys are going to see, he goes for uh, the Mega Evolution. Crits me with the Bullet Punch, so I don't get to knock him out with this, but I'm like, alright, alright, it's fine, because uh, um, despite the Stealth Rocks damage, Torn will be able to leave this and weaken him with the Heat Wave. Crits that too, so now um, Kiram Black has to come out. Uh, unless he crits this as well, I will be able to get an HP Fire off, which will not knock him out. So, pretty much what it comes down to here is if he is a Roost Scizor, because He's going to BP, I'm going to bring him down, but then if he's Roost Scissor, he will be able to Roost up and then knock off my Rocky Helmet and then 1v1 me from there. I go for the BP, he goes for the BP, I go for the HP Fire, bring him all the way down. As he's going to be BP again, and pretty much if he has a Roost here, I lose because of those double crits on my double HP Fire Mons. As you guys are going to see, he goes for the knockoff, so he's going to take a Rocky Helmet damage, and then Earthquake is going to be able to knock him out, so... A really scary ending, if I uh, got to be honest, because it would have been a 4-0 or a 3-0, and unfortunately we went a 1-0, so a uh, lack of differential could hurt us later in the season, but a win is a win, which is really cool. We are now 2-1, and and next week we do face the Philadelphia Frokies, coached by Ladio Azuril, 
who are 3-0. and So, uh, another uphill match, but I feel like if we can win that, we can definitely make a straight push for playoffs from that point. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this match regardless of, you know, double curts at the end, losing our differential. And uh, definitely subscribe if you did. Check out the Fire King down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.